Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Cuban Learning, and this is Stock Picks. And the stock we'll be going over today is Fidelity National Financial Incorporation, ticker FNF. And they're basically the industry that they're in is mostly insurance and just overall the financial sector. And so they're based on the New York Stock Exchange. And today, I just want to show you guys a really simple, really easy way to find really good stocks, really value stocks on Finviz. So I've showed you guys this maybe once before, but this was probably two, three, maybe even four months ago. So I just want to go over this once again. So again, I wanted to find a stock, New York Stock Exchange. That's just the current exchange that I'm on. You guys can do this on whatever exchange you're on. The price of book, we wanted under two. And the beta, this is something that we don't typically always do, but I wanted it to be under two as well because the market is start, starting to look like it's going a little bit sideways. So having a little bit less volatile stock is really important. Another thing is that I need the PDE to be under 20 right now. A lot of stocks are being overvalued and running up a little bit too much. So for true value plays, we want something under 20. And for the target price range, we want around 20% above the price. And for a return on equity, anything above 15%. As I said before, the 15 to 20% is, you know, that sweet spot, and it's really good for value stocks. The debt to equity, we also wanted a 0.5. You know, before I said anything under 1, but 0.5 when you're trying to find true stocks right now and stocks that, you know, won't have large downsides in the short term, you really want to be looking at 0.5. And this is also something a little bit different that Finviz actually does offer. They actually offer stocks that are above their 200 day simple moving average and so i decided to put that in here as well so that whatever stock that we did end up coming up with has extremely good support we also wanted peg to be under one you know as we've said before in various videos it's just really important for overall growth that it is under one right now and with price to sales under one it could also mean that the stock is overvalued we also want to value volume, sorry, over 1 million, just because I like to see stocks, you know, fully move and fully go through their swings and oscillators. Because if you have stocks that don't really have high volume, sometimes, yes, this can be really volatile and really good for you in some sense. But with higher volume, we can also see what the stock will truly do. And so going on to what Finvis actually shows in their short charts here, more of like a technical side, we see that with this basically blue line here and with the purple kind of going to upward side wedge that Finvis has extremely good support around the $45, $50 mark. Um, so if you guys were trading this for a short side and really didn't want to worry about the stock kind of like falling through the support, you kind of wanted to wait for this $45.5. I believe right now they're valued around $46.30. Um, and if you're trading more for the long term, you know, again, having those stop losses in really nice. So Really solid stop loss here would probably be around 43 flat, but these are just a few things to make sure you keep your money safe and you're not over extending yourself essentially. And so again, we always use trading view, just really simple, really easy. It's kind of just going to show exactly what Finvis just did. But if we see even the one week basically summaries, you see moving averages, really strong buys, oscillators, it's a sell. But again, when market's starting to move a little bit sideways, we kind of really want to more rely on that, those moving averages. It's really important, especially when this year alone, I believe the S&P is up over 20%. Um, and on average at this point in the year, I believe the S&P is only about 5% up. And September historically has been more of a negative month uh, throughout the past 100, 115 years or so. And so I just want to make sure you guys are aware of this and just you guys knew this. As we said before, these price targets, you know, I didn't want to only use Finviz because sometimes it's very objective to being extremely bullish or bearish. And so here we have on tip ranks, as we know before, very bullish, but has around 30% upside here. Price target and on average is a $60 per share. Um, and again, we want to use market beat as well because don't only want to compare one to one. But as we can see here, 21.31% uh, upside here with consensus price target at 56.25. And so what I'm seeing here is that, you know, Fidelity looks extremely good here. And the last thing I really wanted to go through, or second to last thing I really wanted to go through, was just what Fidelity is doing that I just really like right now. So if you guys go through all of YouTube right now, you will see stocks that are on fire, crypto to buy in, you know, and stuff like that. But as I was saying before, you need to be smart with your money. And so what I feel like Fidelity has been doing extremely well right now is that in the past three to six months, they've actually been selling a lot of their shares. And as I said before, if you guys didn't know what Fidelity is, they're in the financial sector, so they deal with a lot of the actual trading stocks. 
And so them selling here actually does not really worry me at all. And I'm actually pretty happy by this just because of the fact that, you know, them, I know they sold roughly $54 million in shares, but I really feel like this is important for them because for them to really consolidate and for them to be like a true value stock, they need to be very conservative in what they do in these next upcoming months just because of the fact that I feel like a lot of people are preparing for a little downturn here. Um, and honestly, this is not the worst thing that can happen with the company. And I believe that these earnings are the reason why. So these earnings right here, they'll have one more earning, I believe, in this year on November 3rd, which, you know, it's a little bit of ways away. But what I really want to point out is how Fidelity really re reacted to your earnings, right? So last earnings, around 50% surprise. You know, on average, I believe this is roughly like a 30, 35% surprise on earnings. You know, you would think analysts would eventually get it right, but I think they will have another catalyst here for a little bit more upside run into their next earnings. And what I just want to show you guys here is that, you know, the last day of the report was August 3rd, so beginning of August. If you can see here, beginning of August, you know, they're running up 10, 15% or so. And so it's just those earnings really show the true value of the stock, but, you know, where you guys want to enter this in, it's really up to you. Maybe good I'm on a good red A, wait for them to bounce off the 200 or the 50. And yeah, I mean, that's basically all I have today, guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys got any questions, put them down below. Peace.